California has surpassed the goal set by former Governor Jerry Brown to have 1.5 million zero emission vehicle sales across the state. That mark being reached two years earlier than expected. Fox 40's Kristen Vartan joins us now live from the state capitol to tell us more about how this fits into the state's climate action plan. Kristen. Well, Nikki, the California Energy Commission says that just this year, 21% of new cars sold were zero emission vehicles. Now, by 2035, we have to get that number to 100% as required by Newsom's 2020 executive order. California roads are going green at an accelerated rate. California's goal of selling 1.5 million zero emission vehicles in the state is two years ahead of schedule. The governor's office tells Fox 40 that one in five cars purchased in California are zero emission. California has been really a leader in the zero emission space because of all the different programs that the state has been pushing, all the different investments that the state has offered to help Californians afford these vehicles and get into these cars. The Clean Rebate Project offers up to $7,500 to Californians, and the Clean Cars for All program offers around $9,500 for low-income Californians. Between those two programs, you're talking in the tens of thousands, and then you also can layer on the federal tax credit. It's going to be $7,500, and that's for certain models of EVs. The incentives are thanks to billions of dollars in state funding and as the 2035 deadline approaches. But UC Davis's Scott Hardman says getting to the 2035 deadline costs money. Let's not forget that up until July this year, the state will be subsidizing oil. It will be ended after that. And the federal government also subsidizes the fossil fuel industry. Um, and so there are subsidies and investments going towards electric vehicles. But the expectation is that those investments will pay off through the benefits that electric vehicles will deliver. And with more ZEVs being driven on the roads, the governor's office says there's still work to be done in building more publicly accessible EV charging stations. Right now, there are about 87,000 publicly available chargers in the state of California. Their goal is to get to 250,000 in the next couple years. We have billions of dollars that have just gone out, recently approved towards the end of last year, that are looking to get more of those chargers up in neighborhoods or all around us. And 70% uh, of that funding uh, is dedicated towards disadvantaged communities. And the California Energy Commission found that to support the increasing number of electric cars on the road, they will need 1.2 million public and private charging ports. So there's a lot of infrastructure needed to make this transition to zero emission vehicles. So this right here you see is the letter of intent. It has been signed by several California agencies. It resonates their commitment to create this infrastructure, such as creating those charging stations and having the proper electrical grid to meet this new demand. Live at the state capitol covering local news that matters, Kristen Barton, Fox 40 News.